What's up, everybody? It's Zero Twelve, and welcome back to another episode of Storm Four Beginner to Master Tutorials. Pretty much the series where I teach you guys everything I know about a single character in this game, and I try to get you better with that single character. Today's character we have a Kabuto Yagushi with the Snake Cloak. A lot of you guys have actually requested this character pretty frequently, actually. And, like, I never thought that this character was popular to be requested since he's kind of an underrated character. But Kabuto actually has some pretty good stuff. I just think this character kind of gets slapped on pretty much by the other Kabutos because I think the other Kab uh, I think a lot of the communities think the other Kabutos are better than this one. But this one actually has some pretty unique stuff. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell for more videos just like this. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's just go straight up into the combo. So here's the neutral combo. There we go. Here is the down combo. There we go. And here is the up combo along with the air combo. All right, so let's start breaking down these combos one by one, starting with the neutral combo. So the neutral combo is definitely your fastest combo that you have, but it slightly has, very slightly has more speed than the down combo. So just because of that, I will not say prioritize this combo over the down combo just because it's slightly faster than it, but it's not by it's not by much. It's very minuscule. You can barely notice it. The down combo, on the other hand, is your strongest, the second fastest combo, and this is the one I recommend you do a lot for most of your stuff. It's very easy to cancel out though, just in case you try, uh, your opponent try to punish you, and it does a lot of damage, and it's just as fast as the neutral combo. Maybe like, or maybe on the same level, but it's it's, it's very tinyly uh, slower. All right, and there's also one more thing about the neutral combo. Uh, obviously, there's two there's two things about the neutral combo you want to know. First, it goes to the strike back, obviously, to get more damage. Also, this neutral combo actually has an infinite combo. So, you don't know what infinite combos are. It's basically a combo that you can literally just keep going infinitely. So, here's this infinite combo. It is the ninth hit of the uh, neutral combo. There you go. All you gotta do is just jump and literally just keep doing it. It can literally just go forever. So the reason why neutral com uh, not neutral combo, infinite combos are so good because you can literally just keep racking on damage, and they're mostly very easy to cancel out of. So whenever the opponent subs, you can literally just jump up and block, and you won't get punished for it. And very few characters in the game actually have infinite combos, but I think Kabuto's is actually kind of better because his is literally straight in the middle of his combos which is like not even hard to get to unlike rock lee's his down combo is at the end his infant combo is at the end of his combos which is kind of hard to punish because you can literally just oh it's kind of hard to do because it's at the end of his combos with kabuto literally at the start of it and that's what makes it so good and most of his whole Battle style is kind of surrounded by this uh, infinite combo. So you want to master this down first And then and then we can start talking about some more stuff This is because this infinite combo is going to be very important with this play style This is, this is how he's going to get his punish game down So like for example, let's say you got your opponent down to zero subs and you want to make a really good uh, Punish so one thing you want to do is do the infinite combo Jump and then do the down combo. So by the time he has regenerated one sub he will already have wasted, uh, or, one, or by the time you already regenerated once up, his life will already be gone 75% of a green block. That's what I'm trying to say. Man, I am serving so much. All right, next we're going to the up combo. The up combo is usually not really that important, but on Kabuto, it actually has some pretty good stuff. So, so for the first thing um, that I noticed, so the up combo, uh, he hits four times with like his little chakra swords or whatever those are, chakra scalpels right here so this is pretty good just for the fact that you can 
uh, grab, which we'll talk about the grabs in a second. But most importantly, you want a guard break pill. This is the perfect time to actually guard break pill them, especially on the fourth chakra scalpel right here, because it literally pops them up in the air, allowing them to uh, get a guard break pill. And the only way to actually avoid this is to either shoot again or attack. But that means that they have to know that you're about to do a guard break pill. So let me show you how it is. Wow, I missed that. Hold on, let me put the block on. There we go. Let's see if it works. Okay. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, so yeah, you have to delay it, the the dash a little bit. So here's how it is. Pretty much do the up combo. Wait for the four of the chakra scalpel dash or sidestep out of your combo and then wait just a little bit and then you can hit the point with the guard because they do it instantly uh it's in the air for too long you gotta wait just a little bit and then you can perfectly pop them up with the guard break pill come on come on Arta. there we go come on, come on, come on. dash just like that i mean you can get a free punish off let's go all right so now we're gonna talk about the tilt and the grab. So the tilt is actually pretty unique, I would say. So his tilt is pretty much poison gas with the snake under his cloak and, and uh, kind of a 180 degree arc. So this is actually very unique because not very, um, not very many attacks have poison because poison, in my opinion, it's on the same level as burn, it's kind of strong. It's not something that can just be a, uh, it's not something that a lot of people have, especially for a tilt like this. So I think the only poison tilt is his, and I think Foo's, um, Foo's the Jinjuri. I, th I don't think anyone else has a poison tilt. So this was pretty unique because you can literally just get this off. It has initial damage, plus it has poison damage. The poison damage, well, doesn't do a lot of damage, but it racks up a lot, like, this is that's a lot for a tilt plus he has poison tags and he has a lot of poison stuff so they like he's a pretty good poison character this is pretty unique because it has a lasting the smoke itself has a lasting hitbox so that means if they even dash at the wrong moment they're gonna get poisoned so this tilt is mainly used for mainly used for defense most of the time mainly because like almost like when they get too close use this switch another character switch out because it has that lag on it that's you most want to use it like. It's very unique because it literally forces the opponent to go back. So it, basically, if you have two defensive tilts, you can literally just keep like going like this. Honestly. Like that is like this is a pretty good defensive tilt because they have it, it forces them to wait. But you can cancel the lag, so you can pretty much just take advantage of this tilt with no debuffs. And that's, and that's pretty good. Now it can be used to get pressure. But it's not really made for that because it's it's kind of hard to jump in, do this, and then switch to another character. Like, it's kind of hard, especially when you can't follow up with it. Like it's 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 not really that good for um offensively, but defensively, oh yeah, this is this is the tell for it. They get a little bit too close, use this. It's this is especially good when you're trying to regenerate your subs itself, and you want to back up because it it forces the opponent to back up. All right, next we're gonna talk about the grab. So here's the grab. Very, one of the underrated grabs. That, that's a pretty good grab. Well, I think all of grabs are pretty cool. All of grabs, they're, they're very underrated. All right, so uh, the grab. So the grab is um, pretty, uh, what's the word? It's, you don't know that it's coming most of the time because it looks like a normal attack. Plus the range is kind of deceptive. Like it hit Naruto from that point. So don't be afraid to actually just throw this grab off and you're at close range, like, it'll probably hit this. It did! Wow! <laughs> okay, let me see. Will it hit this far? Oh, will it hit this far? No. Won't hit that far. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that's that's a pretty far-reaching grab. It's, it's like Gara's grab. Like, it's it's, it's kind of that long, except it's kind of instant. Like, it's, it's a pretty just, uh... Uh, not despicable. What's the word I'm looking for? I can't. I can't remember. But it's it's a very uh, misleading grab. Like you, you can just do it in pretty much in the middle of any combo, and it will hit. And the, and the opponent probably won't jump out of it. But the guard cancel for blocking the opponents is this one. 
there we go. So it is the up combo while they're blocking, and that's a good guard cancel because I think because the guard cancel like it's so quick. You can just just use it like that. And literally just get damage off. Like pretty much I would recommend use it at any point in Capital's Cop combos, especially you want very quick damage. Because this grab is very good. It's very long range, it's instant, it's just automatically just good. But if you want uh, free quick damage off, especially when they got four subs, use that grab. Alright, next we're gonna talk about the juicy, the dead soul juicy. So when this I was playing this character a lot when um this character came out in Generations and Revolution. And I never really got the point of this juicy. It always seemed like a projectile to me. But it, it never worked like a projectile. So I'm like, it, plus you can cancel it, so what's the point of this jutsu? So um, after playing Star 4 and actually playing with him, actually learning him, the jutsu is a very good combo ender. So pretty much like after your neutral combo, after your infinite combo, use this and you get a lot of damage. Like look how much damage that that did. That did 50%. Hold on, let me turn off, mod let me turn off the strike back. Let's see how much damage that actually does. Like, okay, that did right probably uh, 45% of a green bar, but still that's a good That's a good uh, attack like it's a very good combo ender So pretty much the so Jutsu some of these two guys they do an attack and pretty much it They just do an attack and it pushes the opponent back. So this Jutsu is very good for pretty much like two reasons first things first it pushes them back so that means that when you use it when they try to sub, they actually sub to where the men are and not where Kabuto is. And that is huge in Naruto because like the substitution range is not that far. So that means you give pretty much a free punish whenever he uses. So that's the first reason why it's good. The second reason is the fact that like it does good damage. It does good damage and it leads up to a strike back as well. So it is might be one of the best combo enders in the game just for the fact that like it does a lot of damage and pushes them it pushes them back so it kind of further it kind of um make uh i can't describe it i can't even make up the words right now it, it further proves that kabuto is a defensive character but with very offensive capabilities so just imagine you get a combo off you do this and they're hurt and then they have to come to you because you have the life lead and then you go back using your tilt so it's 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 pretty good but um yeah I, the dead so juicy is pretty much a combo ender um i recommend use using this pretty much at any point in complex combos it will connect up and if they do sub early and you use it you can just cancel it so that's another good thing about the juicy you can cancel it which means you can pretty much cancel out um some of the other juices weakness which is the lag that's on it so that's that's pretty that's pretty good it's one a very good attack now using it as a projectile itself it's not that good it's, it's not that good because they can just obviously dodge it the hitbox is not really that good and using it as support is okay it's it's not the best it's it's not yeah it's not the best again again because the hitbox and the range are very small so you're probably not gonna hit three point, but using this capital itself, oh boy, like it's it's all over. Cause just imagine using this after the first hit. Look how much damage the first hit did. This first hit and then the dead so juicy did probably thirty percent right there. And like if they sub at the wrong time, you basically just baited out a sub, uh, a sub pretty much. And like that's 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 good like it's really good so i suggest using it as a combo enter for kabuto and not actually using it as support or any other way because he is just excels at that point so let's just say you want to get a really good punish let's do an infinite combo then a down combo and then cancel that into the death slow jutsu let's see how much damage we get That was probably 75% of a green bar, which is pretty good. Like, like the whole combo is fast, so by the time they regenerate one sub, you can probably get that whole combo off if you're really good like at, at doing it, which is, again, kind of insane. But last but not least, we're going to talk about the ultimate Jutsu cancel. So let me turn on the guard. 
Um, Kamato actually has a lot of ultimate juicy cancels, but the one I actually recommend for you guys to do is the infinite combo, just because you can sidestep out of it and get more damage off. Just like that. Again, that's not a bad ultimate juicy. Like, in terms of ultimate juices, that's, that's, that's not bad. It's some Sitachi, uh, Kakazu, and Daedara. I wish it, I wish it did, they did more, but hey, you can't ask for everything. Um, he does have more. Like, if you want, you can just mainly cancel, cancel it. Oh, I did that way too late. And I did the tail. Oh my gosh. Like, for example, if you want to mainly cancel it instead of uh, sidestepping it, you can really just do that. Or the, the up combo where he does like the chakra scalpel, that's also a cancel. Let me do the uh, the up combo. Yeah, he, uh, combo has a bunch of uh, combo cancels. Oh, it's the first chakra scalpel. Let me do it one more time. There we go. Yeah, but he, he uh, almost all almost all of his moves uh, combo into his uh, open juices. So if you want, you can experiment with yourself. But the one I recommend for you guys to do and get good with is the uh, infinite combo. So you can back up and actually, I did, that is not the infinite combo. Back up and actually use the um, ultimate, just like that. But we already seen this already. Um, now we're gonna go to the awakening, but before we actually go to the awakening, I want to show I want to show you guys something that I don't emphasize a lot on uh, too much. So I'll be right back. All right, so I am back now. So you're wondering what did I actually do that was different? So the one the one thing I don't really emphasize too much on is the food pills. Uh, more importantly, the attack food pills. I know there's one for defense, there's one for attack, there's one for Speed. I think there's one for substitution. I think. I think. I think Kick Akashi has something stupid like that. But the one mainly I'm trying to focus on is the attack pill. Just, just because whenever you have an infinite combo, you can literally just use the attack pill, and your punch game would be a lot more. So let me show you. For example, I'm gonna do an infinite combo and then just do a down combo. Let's see how much damage that does with the attack pill. So with that, that did way more damage than it originally did. And the food pit only lasts for about, um, I'm gonna say 15 seconds, maybe 10 seconds. So that's not a lot of time. So you wanna really uh, get damage with the food, uh, with get damage with the attack food pill. And the infinite combo with Kapito makes it so much easier to do. Cause I can just do the um, ultimate jutsu, I can do the jutsu, anything. And it enhances the damage. Like, look at that that that's ultimate jutsu damage right there that's oh my gosh so let's actually the ultimate jutsu and this will be the ultimate punish that you could ever do for Kabuto. well then oh i did way too slow oh i don't think i could do it the food pill with the um ultimate jutsu oh i did the wrong thing yeah i don't think i can actually do it dang okay i could do that but i can't uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I, well, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to do a double combo, uh, one infinite and then another uh, infinite combo, and then cancel that. So let's see how much damage that would be. And I'm gonna turn the life off as well. Okay. It regenerated. Why did it regenerate? Oh my. Okay. Let me restart. Let me restart and let's get let's get the ultimate punch game. This is it. All right, let's see how much damage this is doing. So first time it did probably ninety percent of a green bar. Now it's doing a whole bar and uh some and, and a little bit, but like uh one thirty five damage. Like ooh. That's a lot of damage right there, but yeah, that's pretty much the ultimate punch game that Kabuto can do. Um, yeah, I don't emphasize that a lot, but infinity combos, attack pills, they really work well together, especially for punishing like with the Death Soul Jutsu. Yeah, you do a lot of stuff with that. You don't have to spend with that by yourself, but lots you can do. Now let's go into the Awakening. 
All right, so the awakening really nothing changes. Really nothing changes besides the left and right triggers, which he summons uh, pretty much Orochimaru's Jutsu, the Snake Bear's Jutsu. That is white. Nothing changes. It does no damage. Yeah, that that's it. So pretty much the best strategy I got for you is to use your left and right triggers to actually pressure on the opponent, break the opponent's guard, get damage, kind of like in order because it doesn't, uh, the snakes don't actually do extra guard damage, but you do extra guard damage. Yeah, it, it allows you to actually like do, do stuff. Basically one combo just destroys the guard. You can even like use it after a combo. Okay, the snakes just appear after they hit the corner. But even still, like, you don't even need the snakes, honestly. It's just a basic awakening. And sometimes basic's not bad. Basic awakenings are my my opinion way better than big awakenings, because big awakenings have a bigger hitbox and basically the same damage. So basically you just have a big awakening and it's way way faster. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty good, but basically the whole overview of Kabuto, um, he is not a leader type, like, uh, you pick him first time, he is definitely a sidekick, um, a sidekick with a okay support Jisu, but you, he's a defensive character that actually has pretty good offense, so as long as you don't be stupid with him and try to use your tilt as much as possible, especially when you can run away with your subs. Like, this still, this still is pretty good for running away. Like, that's kind of the whole thing. Plus, you can just use him just to go in and actually get damage off, which is kind of insane, really. Like, it's, basically, it's a support character that has defense and offense. The only thing he's probably, he's not lacking anything. That's the weird part. Like, he's, all, he's an all-rounder, a good first, a good, uh, good character. The only thing he's probably lacking is his, uh, support. That's really about it. But uh, yeah, that's Kabuto. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe and leave a, li leave a like if you actually did enjoy the video. My name is Zuzar12. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys uh, next time.